ni mauti. The law of death. Sheria ya mauti. Say the law of death. Sema sheria ya mauti. Now I was reading a newspaper in the United States where I come from. There was a story in the newspaper about a young man who wanted to be a skydiver. How many of you know what a skydiver is? Okay, for those of you that don't know, let me tell you. Skydiving is very strange. There are some people that love to do this. They get into an airplane. The airplane takes them high into the sky. And then they jump out of the airplane. And they are falling towards the earth. And before they hit the ground, they open a parachute. It looks like these umbrellas. It's like a big umbrella. And when the parachute opens, then they float, float safely to the ground. Now, I have never been skydiving. But I have friends that have done it. And I said to my friend, I think you're crazy. said, why do you do this? He said, you don't understand. It feels good. He said, when you jump out of that airplane and you are falling towards the ground, your heart is pounding. The blood is moving, 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 moving through your veins. You have adrenaline. He said, it's a wonderful feeling. He said, I've never felt so alive. People do it because it feels good. This is the same reason that people sin because it feels good. But now I read in this newspaper story that this young man, he, he had to go to a class. Because in, if you want to go skydiving, you have to take a class. And they teach you all about it. They teach you how parachutes work. And so he graduated from this class. They gave him a certificate to put on the wall. And then he scheduled his day to go skydiving. In the meantime, he went shopping. He bought a new camera so he could take pictures. He bought a helmet for his head. He bought glasses for his eyes. And then it was time. He went to the airport. He got into the airplane. He took off. He was going higher and higher and higher. Suddenly the pilot came over the radio. The pilot came over the radio. Jumpers, get ready. I'm about to open the cockpit door. Suddenly the door of the airplane opened. And this young man stepped to the edge. He lowered those glasses over his eyes. He tied in the strap of the helmet under his chin. He had his camera ready to take pictures. He took a deep breath. One, two, three, he jumped. He was falling. His heart was pounding. The blood was moving. It felt so good. But now he could see the ground coming closer. And closer, and closer. It was time for him to open the parachute. It was time for him to float safely down. So he reached for the cord to open the parachute. And he made a terrible discovery. He had forgotten his parachute. This is a true story. 
He jumped out of the airplane Aliruka kutoka kwenye ndege with no parachute pasipokuwa na parachute And can I tell you my friend if you jump out of an airplane with a helmet Na nikwambia ndugu yangu kama ukiruka kutoka kwenye ndege na element but you have no parachute lakini hauna parachute your helmet will not save you Element yako haitokusaidia You understand Unaelewa If you jump out of an airplane with glasses on your eyes kama ukiruka kutoka kwenye ndege ukiomevaa mawazo but no parachute on your back lakini hakuna parachute mdogo those glasses will not help you. And I tell you, there are many people like this. Many people like this in Tanzania. They go to church. They go to Bible school. They go to mosque. They learn all kinds of religious things. Like the certificate that young man had hanging on their wall. And they pray. They pray to God. They give to the poor. They do good deeds. It's like a helmet on their head. But my friend, those things cannot save you. Religion cannot save you. Good works cannot save you. There is no prophet who can save you. There is no priest who can save you. There is no preacher who can save you. There is no amount of money that can save you. There is only one name given under heaven whereby men might be saved. There is only one name. There is only one way. And his name is Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus said I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. And that's why the Bible tells us. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the parachute. Hallelujah. So now I've talked to you about the law of sin. I've talked to you about the law of death. Now I want to tell you about one more law. It's the law of salvation. Say the law of salvation. And this is the reason I came to Tabora. If sin and death were the only laws. Then I would have stayed home in America. I came here tonight. Because of this third law. It is a wonderful law. It is a powerful law. It is more powerful than sin. It is more powerful than death. It is more powerful than addiction. It is more powerful than adultery. It is more powerful than fornication. It is more powerful than your addiction. It is the law of salvation. Say the law of salvation. Now I'm going to use my Bible one more time. I'm going to hold it up. And if you see my Bible, I want you to wave. Now you can see. Unaweza kuiona Biblia yangu nataka upunge mkono. Okay, now I'm asking you one last question. Sasa nakuuliza swali moja la mwisho. And I want you to shout the answer. Na nataka upaze sauti yako jibu lako. Are you ready? Uko tayari? I want you to tell me this. Nataka uniambie hili. Why is my Bible not falling on the ground right now? Kwa nini Biblia yangu sasa hivi haianguki chini? What are they saying? Because you're holding it. You are right. Uko sahihi. Because there is a hand. Kwa sababu kuna mkono. Holding it up. Umeishika juu. And this is how the law of salvation works. Na hivi nithi ambavo sheria ya wokovu. The law of salvation. Sheria ya wokovu. Is the nail pierced hand of Jesus Christ. Ni hile mikono ya yesu ilio pigwa misumari. And tonight you might be in the clutches of sin. Na leo nezo kwa mekamatu wa nadhamu. And they might be pulling you down. Inezo ikari na kufuta chini. And you might be about to split hell wide open. Na unezo kwa na karibia kuzama. 
But I have good news for you. This is what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let me tell you what is going to happen now. In just a moment we are going to pray together. And we are going to call upon that name. The name that is above every other name. The name at which every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. And when you call upon that name. That nail pierced hand will sweep under you. He will catch you where you fall. He will lift you up out of sin. He will lift you up out of death. He will lift you up out of darkness. He will lift you out of addiction. He will lift you out of bondage. He will lift you higher and higher and higher. Now can I tell you a story? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We have been praying for you for many, many months now. We have been looking forward to this time. We had invitations to come to many different parts of the world. They sent me letters. They said, come to Asia. They said, come to South America. They said, come to Nigeria. They said, come to South Africa. And I said, no. I cannot go to Asia. I cannot go to South America. Because this day, this time, is for tomorrow. This is for Tanzania. This is your day. This is your moment. This is your hour. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to the children of Israel through the prophet. And this is what he told them. Be careful. Everybody tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Be careful. The prophet said, Be careful that you do not miss your hour of visitation. Because there are moments in history when God visits a certain place in a very special way. And when it is your time, you must grab a hold of it. Do you understand? Now, I wonder what would happen tonight. We could all get together. We could go down to the airport in Dar es Salaam. And we could all get on an airplane together. And we could fly to Israel. And we would be the Tabora tour group in Israel. How many of you would like that? Now, to get closer than you are, Safir, or Kuna Kutemelea, Israel, what's what Tabora? We got to get pen and get quite if you. And we could walk on the places where Jesus walked. And we would see where he fed the 5,000. And we would see where he ascended into heaven. And then our tour guide would take us to the upper room. The room where the Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost. Do you know that story? How many of you know the story of how the Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost? And we would all gather together in that room. And do you know what would happen? Nothing. And do you know why? Because we would be in the right place. But we would be 2,000 years too late. It's the right place. But it's the wrong time. You understand? 
Now, 2,000 years ago, when the Holy Spirit was falling in the upper room, there were thousands of Jews living in Jerusalem. And while the Holy Spirit was falling in the upper room, some of them were shopping in the market. Some of them were worshipping at the temple. Some of them were sleeping in their beds. They were in the right time. But they were in the wrong place. The right time. But the wrong place. But the Bible tells us that there was 120 people. Just 120. They were in the upper room. Then the Holy Spirit came down. They were in the right place. They were there at the right time. And they received the outpouring from heaven. People of Taborah, I have good news for you. Not only is this the right time, but you are in the right place. You are in the right place. You are here at the right time. If you will receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Today is your day. Now is your moment. You are in the right place. You are here at the right time. And you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Are you happy? You know, I'm so happy that all of you came here tonight, tonight even though the rain is dripping now. I am not afraid of the rain either. In fact, I say that rain is a blessing from heaven. And I am so thankful that Tabora is a blessed land. And as a result of what God is doing here this week, your blessings will increase. And increase. And increase. And increase. And by the time this crusade is over, you will be going home walking like this. Because you will be loaded, loaded, loaded with blessings in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? How many of you have enjoyed the ministry of evangelist Jared Horton this week? Come on, if you love evangelist Jared Horton, put your hands together for him and let, you, let him know. Jared, Jared is a mighty man of God. And I'm so thankful that you have had the privilege of having him right here in your hometown. Now before I begin to preach, I want to talk to you about what is going to happen tomorrow night. Everybody say tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is going to be something very, very special. Tomorrow night is the last night of this gospel crusade. And I tell you something I have learned. That Jesus always saves the very best for last. Hallelujah. I believe that tomorrow night is going to be the greatest night here in Tabora. And I want to tell you about two things that are going to happen tomorrow night. Number one, something is going to happen on this field that you have never seen before. Because we are going to pray tomorrow night for you to be baptized into the Holy Spirit. And right here on this field, the power of the Holy Spirit is coming down. You will be filled to overflowing. What does this mean? What does this mean?
Jesus mean? Jesus before he went to heaven. Yesu kabla ya kwenda mbinguni. He said to his disciples. Aliwaambia wanafunzi wake. Go to Jerusalem and wait. Akasema ende ndani Yerusalemu msikilize. In a few days. Katika siku chache. You will receive the promise of the Father. Tapokea ahadi ya Baba. And when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Roho mtakatifu atakapowajili. You will receive power. Utapokea nguvu. Everybody say power. Kila mtu aseme Guru Guru I like that I like that better than English I like that better than English Guru 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 In the name of Jesus You will receive power utapokea nguvu and you will be transformed tomorrow night